Hey, what's up? Tuesday night, leftovers for dinner. Um, pretty busy day today, as usual. We started the MPI on the Blue Water 2002 um, 839M5. We got about 80% done. We didn't start that sucker until like 5 o'clock. I had to get in touch with an insurance adjuster for a customer car and send over an invoice with an explanation. I had to talk to a whole bunch of other people, test drive a few cars. Uh, so it was just a really busy early part of the day. But we kicked off the inspection tonight and kind of got the underbody, chassis, suspension, and body portions done. We're ready to move on to the interior, which we will um, pick up on tomorrow afternoon. We had some cleaners in the shop today. Really the first time we got like a nice deep clean since we've been there of all the floors, windows, walls, you know, just, just kind of that stuff that a cleaning company does more than me with five free minutes on a weekend and a bottle of Windex. So that's nice. Things are looking better in there. We're supposed to have an FOC drive out to Borrego Springs this weekend um, for the second or third, second weekend in a row. Uh, it's going to be 58 and raining. We've got another system coming in, so we've postponed that. We tried to go to April 6th. The restaurant that's hosting us isn't available that date, so it's the following week, April 13th, the weekend before the La Jolla Concours that we've rescheduled to. So that creates a whole bunch of problems because people bought tickets planning for the 30th and now can't go the 13th, so that's... My dad's handling that, but it's still a pain in the ass. Earlier at the shop today, we had the leather specialist come out um, actually three of them, and work on the caramel interior on that Sterling Gray 01 for a couple hours. Everything caramel inside the car has been resprayed. I mean, the, the interior is going to be absolutely mint when it's back together. Annoyingly, the driver's door panel we got, the last one in existence in caramel, um, delivered without two things. Thing number one, fairly easy. It doesn't come with a little coin storage box. That was the U.S. only thing, so we installed that. The other issue is it didn't come with a cutout for the memory seats. You can see where it's supposed to be, and there's like a little indent in the material. But it's got me wondering, I guess Euro cars, that was an option, even on the M5, like memory seats? I, I, I don't know. I'd have to look into that. But we had to very carefully cut that out and fold the leather back and glue it. It's a pain in the ass. But everything's done on the interior now except for the driver's seat. We're replacing the foam panels and that. So tomorrow that's going to go down to the... The other leather specialist here in town, he's going to take the leather off, put it on the new forms, uh, the new foams, and put that back in the car. And then the leather specialists will come out and re-dye that final seat. But we got the parcel shelf in today, um, new seatbelt tensioners or buckles. So we're really close on that. Bedtime for me. We'll talk on hump day. Good night.